Hello everybody and welcome to today's video, which as you probably read is a pet tour, um, just like a quick little pet tour um, of the 41 I believe pets I have, including little Sweepy I have with me. If um, you've been watching my recent videos, um, I just want to let you guys know that I am not turning into a pet YouTube channel even though it does seem like it. This is my third video in a row about my pets. Um, I just think it's really fun to film um, and people seem to like them. So um, if you do, maybe like and subscribe to my channel. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. So this is my pug puppy. He is turning one year old in nine days as I'm filming this. Um, so his birthday is March 14th. Um, so he's gonna be one year old, which is pretty crazy. His name is Bucephalus, but <laughs> he's very loud. Um, but everyone just calls him Puppy. So he's he's baby. He's very baby. So this um, is my budgie. Um, He's honestly really pretty for a budgie. He's very loud. Um, he was a rescue. He came in a tiny little cage with just one perch. Um, so his cage now is definitely a huge upgrade. Um, I'm not a huge fan of keeping birds. Um, I don't really think, I don't know. I just don't really like keeping a bird in a cage. But um, because he was a rescue from a really, really bad home, um, it, I just kind of had to. Um, so his name is John Boy, based off of my favorite character from the Waltons. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah. So he is a good, loud boy. Definitely squawks a lot, and he loves his millet. Um, so I kind of share him with my mom, um, so he's not really like my bird or like anybody's bird. He's kind of just like shared because he's so simple to care for. Um, we just fill up his water in that and then on the ground he just has seed and then water and then the perch covers. He really likes those for his beak and then his little millet stick. So this tank here is in my kitchen. Um, it's mostly my mom's. She likes to have this. Um, so I did have this tank for quite a while before I got my own um, two tanks. So this body right here is just a regular black one. Um, he's actually like second generation I believe in this tank. Um, so he came from um, an older fish, an older body that I had. Um, named Trevor. I didn't really know much about Platties at the time. So he is probably about two years old. He's doing really well. Um, and then we have these two female Platties. They are new. I believe that she is pregnant, the bigger one on the left, um, because he's a male. And then these two are females, which we didn't, again, know. Um, and then there's just a mystery snail. So for these, it's just the Tetra Min Tropical Fish Flakes, um, pretty standard. Um, just a regular potty tank is really easy to care for. Um, so yeah, these guys are all doing really fine. They're super cute. So this massive beauty is my 29 gallon freshwater community tank. Um, this was my last video, but I didn't talk, it was just kind of, no, it was two videos ago. I can't remember. Um, but I, was, I didn't really explain it, um, I just kind of did like cute music, so it was cute, I totally recommend. So in this one, I have two of the dwarf cornies. Um, I think they were just so beautiful, uh, just so graceful. I, I think they're a really great addition to any freshwater tank. Um, this is Jason. He's my Molly. He's been with me for quite a while. He's definitely a heartier fish. 
I have three tetras, as you can see the two are chasing each other. Um, there's the dwarf for me and Jason. That is my panda platy that my boyfriend picked out. He insisted uh, I got him because he felt bad. Um, so he is actually the father of my baby platies, which I'll go into in just a second. Um, so this tank is kind of like a work in progress. I have put a ton of work into this tank. Um, I have six of the narrate snails and one mystery snail. Um, and then I have two of the live plants. And then I have one kind of like a lily pad-ish one on top. I'm not sure if it'll focus. Um, and since I got those, I've noticed these little snails, which I'll include a video of, I can't find them at the moment, but I've been noticing these little snails in my tank, and I was like, I was told that the narrate snails can't have babies, and they can't reproduce unless it's really brackish water. Oh, here's one. So I did some research, and these are actually river snails. Um, so they come, they're like hitchhikers basically from live plants or driftwood or anything you put in the tank. So I do have a few of these. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to be doing with them. Um, so far it hasn't gotten too bad. I don't have an infestation yet. Um, there's just a few little guys. I think they're pretty cute. So I think I'm going to keep them. I'll see how it gets. <laughs> um, and then I also have two Cory catfishes. That one is Mary Ellen. And then I have a smaller one named Elizabeth and they are like always with each other. They're like best friends. Um, so in this one I have it separated by just like a tank separator. And this is where I have the baby platies and the one mom um, who is still pretty big considering she just gave birth and then I have another one of the rainbow wag bodies who is female she's in the corner she's not doing too well um, since I got her she hasn't really been doing that great so I'm really I've been adding like Espen salt and hoping it gets better and here are some babies they're about two weeks old so they're starting to get their color they're going more to the top um they're definitely growing i think i have at least six um so i am expecting more from the mom um usually labor doesn't take this long but she's still very big as you can see so there are some of the babies so adorable and yes, so the father was the panda body. I believe he's a panda. So yeah, that is my freshwater community tank. I love everybody very much and they're all doing very well. Now it is time for the saltwater fish. The light is on top. It's just a button that takes a minute. It is fluorescent lighting. Um, so if you did watch my live, my last video, not live, um, my last video I do have the live rock and since my last video I have rescued a second clownfish. So she's about three years old, um, I named her Veronica and that's Ricky. Um, both of them were rescues. As you might be able to tell, Ricky, which is the darker, smaller one, um, he's the male. Um, he has been suffering from marine ick for the last few days, um, it's spelt Y-C-H. So I've been doing a lot of water changes, um, espen salts, feeding them more brine shrimp, um, than flakes, um, more dis distilled water, um, water conditioner, more treatments, um, I'm really hoping that he can get better because this is my first saltwater tank so and I just absolutely adore them both um, they make me really happy 
Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can probably tell because they're like all I posted about all my stories. So I'm really hoping that Ricky gets better. Um, his like mood and um, his like behavior, he seems more active. So he might be getting better. Um, at one point, his eye was very swollen, um, and it was like a bubble, um, which I believe was part of the ick. But that went down after one night, after water change and espum salts. So I'm hoping for more progress. I think he's a lot happier now with a roommate, Veronica. She's definitely a lot bigger, but she's very pretty and she hasn't been bullying him. I know um, if you already have a clownfish established in a tank, you should only add, um, it's recommended to only add a clownfish that is smaller. But, so I was, I, was, I was really worried actually that they wouldn't get along. But they've been doing really well, so I'm really happy about that. So I will be feeding them the frozen brine shrimp, which I will show you guys. So mine comes in this package. Um, I got it from Big Al's, which is my local like fish specialty store. Uh, so it comes in these little pods. So as you can see, I've already used quite a few. So you just pop them out. It's kind of like gum. Um, and then I just use these. I do not know what these are, but I use them. So I just open the lid. And well, here it goes. So there is the shrimp. They will slowly, oh yeah. So they go absolutely nuts <laughs> for the shrimp um, and it seems to really be helping with Ricky's progress and recovery as you can see he's just really living it up Veronica's usually more active but they're having a good time I think they're really happy so um, that's about all I do for them on a daily basic basis other than checking the salinity and the water and making sure the temperature is right i just feed them twice a day um, with this and then anything extra that they don't eat i remove from the tank but that is about it for the morning at least i just turn the light on for a few hours feed them the shrimp and then until night time i turn the light off Feed them in more shrimp and they're good so hopefully ricky recovers he's been doing good so i love them very much this is sweaty he is turning 12 in july and he is Ten or ten good boy. There's puppy. Oh, pinky thirteen. <laughs> but definitely not least is my guinea pigs um so i will start off with my little sweet pea i do have a video just about my guinea pigs um how to care for them um introducing them um if you want to see that i will have it at the end of the video um so this is sweet pea you can be kind of skitty hello Yep, go back in your jungle. Um, so he has a two by four um, CNC cage that I made for him um, and a corn who recently died in his sleep. I'm, oh, 
it was really sad. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Um, and I was really worried about Sweet Pea, but so far he's been doing really good on his own. Um, he's had like no problems, he's been fine. Um, so for them at night time, I fill their bowls with one handful of kibble. No, not yet, you have to wait about 10 hours. Um, so no, they do not start during the day um, because I do refill their hay in the morning and at night. So I'm going to do that. I get my hay from a local farmer. Um, it's a lot cheaper than store-bought hay and they prefer it a lot more and it's a lot more green. Um, so I just fill that. Sometimes he'll pop corn, be really excited. So he's a good boy. Then right below them, just down the level in their little apartment type thingy is Tom Tom and Theodore, who were my first ever guinea pigs that I got. And as always, all my pets are rescues. Um, so they were my first guinea pigs. That is Theodore. That is Tom Tom. Theodore is a total baby. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a bit too early. Um, he loves to be cuddled. He loves to be held. He loves affection. Um, Tom Tom is a little bit more skittish, but usually Theodore will allow quite a bit. And especially when you're getting rescues, you have to be a lot more patient. Um, with bonding with them and affection, you don't want to scare them too much because most of them have come from really rough households. There's Sweet Pea again, munching away. In here, I have my Midwest cage. Um, I got, so this is Mabel and Poppy. They're my only two female guinea pigs. Mabel really likes this. I usually just carry her like that. Um, she really likes it. Um, at first I was kind of concerned because she would just hide in there for a long period of time, but honestly she's just having a good time, so I just leave her. And Poppy is a little bit of a bully, so I try not to dis disturb any of them. She does not like to be held, she doesn't really like but she's not a big fan of affection. So that is their cage. Um, so again, for all the guinea pigs at night, I refill their water bottles, which are handy because you just lift the lid. You don't have to actually remove them from the cage, which saves so much time. And then I just refill their bowls with kibble. Um, I use the Oxbow Essentials Adult Guinea Pig Food. Um, they love it, it's really healthy. So that's what I feed them. Oh, here comes Puppy. And then below them, in my, is a double hutch. And I have Boris, who is my biggest. He's a big boy. He loves his chin rubs. Itty bitty. Yes, you are a good boy. You are a good boy. Look at those piggy lips. You're a good boy, Boris. Yes, he's a good boy. If you ever see this scar on my arm, that is from him. Um, there was a bit of an accident when I was introducing them to the other guinea pigs. I thought it was gonna go well, but it didn't, and my arm got in the way, and that ended up in three stitches. So that was not pretty. Hello. And right below him we have Ponyo. Ponyo is an interesting character. He always flips his face. Hello Ponyo. He's very pretty. You're a pretty boy, Ponyo. Definitely scary. We love you, Ponyo. 
So that is it for the guinea pigs. So I'm going to now give them some treats that I was saving to film. So I'm going to just get these. So these are the toys that I got for them. I got enough so that I have one for each guinea pig, which is seven. Um, I don't often buy them treats. I usually just make my own or just give them cardboard boxes as you might have seen. Um, just because they're kind of expensive and not always very healthy, but Oxbow is a good brand. Yes, hi puppy. Checking with the toys. These are not for you. I don't think you like him. <laughs> so I'm going to now just give these to them so they have something to play with. Again, this is not necessary. Um, it's just some enrichment um, and fun and some treats. It is now time to distribute the toys. I'll give this big one to Sweet Pea just because he does not have his friend anymore. Let's see if he will take it. There is, oh, there he is hiding. Hi, Sweet Pea. Make sure to share. Here is Mabel out of her little hut. So they will get one apple stick and then one apple just like Tom from the Theodore. Here Mabel. Oh she wants the middle one. There you go. I'll take this one back, and then Poppy gets the apple. There you go. Boris. Hello, Boris. You shall get... He's big, so he can have... Stack of apple sticks. I think you're supposed to leave them like that. Good boy. Nope. Are you friendly today? Enjoy. And Ponyo hiding in his hut. Let's see if he will take it. So that does conclude this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions or um, any video requests or suggestions or just you want to talk or anything, um, I will have my Instagram in the link below and I will show it here. Um, so you guys can follow me on Instagram for just more updates about them. I do post about them quite a bit. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, so I'll just have a little quick montage of all of them now to just finish the video. So if you want to watch that, it'll just be some cute videos with some cute music. So I'll enter that now. I hope you guys have an amazing day and enjoy this video. Um, if you did, maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate that, so I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.